Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the month of September it's for the Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This is going to be um, a month of the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So it's a positive month for you, Leos. Okay, thank you for all your likes, shares, and support. Please continue to leave the messages. Um, whenever we leave a message, we're healing someone else because someone else realized that they are not the only one going through the problem. If this is the first time on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. It's going to be a positive endeavor. As you do that, you will only realize a wonderful and um, you can change yourself by empowering yourself okay this channel is all about empowerment and helping people to understand who they are and the energies that is around them so again thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart with all the support all the like all the shares please likes and shares and thumbs up and please share these videos with other people so that other people will connect with us because as we connect with each other we are building something of positive energy in this world and this will change um, certain aspect of each and every person on this planet thank you for being here please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rise and sign also go and listen to the general readings for the month of September because there will be more messages coming in as we look at your um, month of September month of September as I said it carry the energy vibration of the wheel of fortune which is um, a very positive energy the wheel of fortune is going to come in in the month of September is this going to be new beginnings for some people luck for some people okay what else is happening in the month of September is that uh, the zodiac energy you're going to start the month of September with the zodiac energy of the heart, and you're head ending the month of September with the zodiac energy of the hair. But yet, still, these air signs are the, uh, the, the energy vibration, the zodiac energy of the hair sign is going to bring you wonderful, wonderful energies. Uh, your focus in the month of September, you have the energy of the nine of wands. The nine of wands is a very positive energy because what it is doing it is healing you and protecting you while you rest for a while so the month of September is going to be a restful time for you a time of contemplating what is your next move but at this time you're going to be protected in this time okay um, I'm starting to show people what I'm working with what card deck because people are always asking and I really don't have the time to tell you so this month of September we're working with the dreaming way tarot the dreaming way Tarek. we're working with the dreaming way Tarek, and this is a wonderful positive energy that is coming in through these cards deck and I love them I'm so in love it's as if it, each year I got a new card deck okay let's look at what numbers are coming in we see a wonder we see a four we see um, 10 twice so we have the energy vibration of the number 10 that is coming in eight seven so the number eight ten eight and number ten oh yeah eight and number ten so your energy vibration will be eight and ten for this month as we look at the weeks we have four weeks we have the first week as a water week the second week as earth week the third week as an air week and the last week as an earth energy vibration week as we move on and we look at what is coming up in the first week we have the four of swords so as I've already said um, it's a month of resting for you um, Leo's whatever the situation is it is time for resting resting because you have the energy of nine you're resting and contemplating what is your next move okay by resting and contemplating in the first week what is your next move information is going to be coming to you so information can be coming to you via email texts people trying to contact you um, people wants to work with you that sort of a thing a whole, whole lot of new messages will be coming in in the first week so if you were looking for um, work of work information about work is going to be coming in via email text message and that sort of a thing text message with information is going to come in because people wants to connect with you and want to help they want you to help to co-create something okay so 
um, by resting and thinking you're going to see that because you have uh, released the energy of all oh, you know pumping up yourself to force things to go through you are taking a time to rest and now so this week is a week for people who will have been looking for work for a very long time and now finally is a breakthrough has come through and people are sending information they want to contact you so if this is your new business whatever it is it has to do with work and business for people who have been trying to um, um, contact family members and uh, friends for a long time you're going to receive you're going to realize that uh, they are going to be con uh, returning the news or news is coming in for some people too so this is positive this is extremely positive I am getting a message for someone who has lost family members and finally um, you are being connected it's as if you, you you're going to be receiving mails from family member asking how are you where are you and are you okay that sort of a thing is also coming in so for the people who are looking for work it's going to be a positive positive um, um, week because people will be contacting you and people want to work and co-create there's a, a situation of people want to work and co-create and it has to do with work it has to do with business endeavor and work so whatever is happening in the first week it's all about work people contacting you um, to join their companies and that sort of a thing a lot of messages coming in so this is going to be a very very wonderful wonderful time whenever it comes to work work new business people wants to contact you to co-create with them and this is going to be positive for the first week so this is good for you Leah so whoever you're out there you have been in balance you had no work for a time you're going to see positive energies coming in as we look at the second week which is an earth's week there is the tower coming up a lot of cleansing is coming in for other signs and especially other fire signs um, a lot of cleansing is coming in and the second week the energy of the tower comes and it says the house of God and whatever the energy of the tower comes in and it says the house of God whatever the situation was the universe came in to clear this situation so here we are you are an Leo you're a fire sign you have a situation to deal with the energy of the Empress so whatever that was blocking blocking your manifestation of your materialistic needs it's now cleared because the Empress brings in um, the universal angels and guides to clear whatever that was blocking your financial needs and that sort of a thing so let's say that you have been blocked because you haven't had work for years and that sort of a thing and uh, um, your financial situation was not in a proper and the nurturing you have no inner strength the nurturing fertility a lot of people will be getting pregnant in this week let's say that you were trying to get pregnant for a lot of a long time and you could not be able a lot of people if it's not happening in the second week it's going to happen in the month of September so congratulations because it is a month of fertility so the second week of September is going to be a month of fertility whatever negativity that was blocking the situations in this month it's going to be a positive one because it is a month of fertility and nurturing your materialistic situation will now um, whatever blocks was there is going to clear up so now work is going to be available to a lot of you people uh, whatever you need to survive whatever food money um, money to pay your bills and that sort of a thing the Empress is here and she as um, bring in the tower to cleanse whatever situation that has been blocking you this is so so positive ladies and gentlemen this is positive so in this time you're going to be flexible flexible because this is good new beginnings a lot of new beginnings new things are coming in your life new materialistic endeavor um, situations that uh, people needed money to study people needed money um, to start their business that sort of a thing so be flexible because whatever you're asking for whatever needs that you need it's going to come in and it's going to be as such a positive month uh, week for you for you guys okay it's going to be a very positive week for you guys so energy of the Empress is in the second week which is good um, flexibility because there's a cleansing of whatever that was blocking you 
as we move forward we have the energy of love a lot of new love is coming in for you fire signs whatever is happening in September new love is coming in for you fire sign this is good because whatever is happening to you fire sign people you lay us there is a positive situation because this your new year has just begun and I, I really told you guys that your 2017 year is going to be positive because here we are we're having on um, the ace of cups the ace of cups is new love coming in and the ace of cups with the energy of the world so this is positive whatever is happening for you Leos it's going to be the month of September is going to change your life in a ways beyond your imagination it's going to be unexpected luck coming in because it's the month of the wheel of fortune and it is a fire sign and the wheel is here twice and whatever that was happening in your life is about to change so positive positive things your life is about to change unexpectedly change unexpected change unexpected success is coming in and your materialistic world is going to be extremely positive okay whatever is happening unexpected luck is coming in for you Leo's you are going to use the month of September to start um, building new things in your life so all you businessmen out there whatever you want to do the month of September is going to be the month to do it in the third week so ladies and gentlemen I'm loving this this is a positive positive energy um, whatever that you were trying to accomplish in your life in the beginning from 2017 which is the general because your year begin after your birthday you are seeing now that your world the wheel of fortune is bringing you a lot of luck okay so unexpected luck is coming in for you um, um, this is wonderful unexpected luck is coming in for you Leo's and this is good in the third week the third week is going to be one of your best best week for you guys <clears throat> it's gonna be one of your best best week um, <clears throat> um unexpected expected luck as on the way for you guys wonderful a lot of luck you have also the energy vibration of the star coming in so um this is going to be wonderful it's unexpected luck luck you know luck luck and um, yeah it's luck because it's wheel of fortune unexpected luck coming in okay we're going to go to this last and final week um, or the last and final week infinity ah, abundancy is going to enter and it's going to enter your life I'm sorry I have to type the um, information yeah so here we here we go this is the last week the number eight justice whatever that was in just in your life uh, finally justice is here okay so if you have felt as if you were stabbed in the heart justice is here whatever the situation is whatever the situation was and you feel as if you were stabbed and you were backstab and whatever the situation is justice is here um, whatever that was happening to you you need to understand that a positive outcomes whatever heartbreak you felt justice is here a balance is here for you so whatever that has been happening in your life and you felt as if you were stabbed in the back you were you were heartbroken you have lost something justice is here to balance out all the situations so if you had a legal um, situation you're going to be justice balance is going to come in your life okay if um, there was a situation where you felt are broken the energy the justice is here to balance out whatever situation is there and it was fate it was fate this was a karmatic situation that you brought back and you had to learn from this situation so whatever the situation was and whoever was there there is a justice and a balance so fate 
the justice and the fate has come in so whatever that has been happening and I'm going to ask the angels and guide because you have the energy of the star you have the fate energy the energy of the star is saying you know that positive things are coming out but whatever are broken that you have justice is here to prevail and I want to ask the angels and guide um, to show me what exactly is happening here what exactly is happening here? What exactly is happening here? There is a situation. There is an injustice that has taken place. There is an injustice. It is. It was a karmatic situation. It was a karmatic situation happening, and um, there's an injustice. So um, let's look to see exactly. In the fourth week, because I there's mixed energies coming up in the fourth week for whatever that has took place. There is a mixed energies. Okay, there was a situation with secret education, knowledge, and that sort of a thing. Okay, whatever the situation was, uh, uh, a secret is. Some people are carrying secrets, secrets or burden. Okay, and fate. And knowledge faded knowledge some people are carrying a secret okay whatever the secret is you need to release yourself of the secret call upon your angels and guides and ask them to heal whatever secrets and burden that you're carrying some people it's fate and fate comes up twice fate comes up twice because you have fate here okay let's see what is happening the, the fates come up twice so obviously there is a situation it's as if you're carrying a burden on a secret fate comes up twice so there's definitely a situation loneliness um, loneliness some people are having suicide and thought but you need to call upon your angels and guides and ask them to help you because whatever the situation is is it's for some people it's a, a burden that you're carrying whatever the situation some people the success is here but yet still there are situations that are happening and I've been guided um, I've been guided to use something else so let's see um, what other messages are here because I'm guided to use something else let's see what other message okay some people oh wow okay all right okay okay um some people okay in the last week and sometimes these things comes up not for everyone in the last week i've asked what was the message for the last week because there's there was obvious situation because you have the three of swords and justice with fate Fate is uh, um, um, you, uh, um, it's things that happen and it's karmatic situation and they come back that you have to clear them up. When, I've, when I ask the message, what is it? It's a secret, a burden that somebody has been carrying, okay? A secret burden that someone has been carrying and you need to release this because it's a karmatic situation whenever the energy of the cross comes up especially in these readings there are burdens and situation that you're carrying from the past and you need to release it for some people's from the past earth life for some people is a recoordination um, lessons that you came back in this life to, to learn and this is a very this is very burdensome to some people whatever is happening whatever is happening it is burdensome it is a secret that some people are holding whatever the secret is whatever is happening to you you need to release it you need to re release it so whatever is happening to you guys in the fourth week you need to release it okay whatever are broke um, Heartbreak, you got about a situation in the last week. You need to release it because the energy of justice is coming in to heal whatever that situation was. So next message that I got for some people it, it is that you, if you had a lawsuit, you're going to win. And this is for because this is the energy of the emperor. The energy of the emperor works with the Leo people. So some of you are going to be very successful, whatever the situation that was going on in your life in your 
um, work you're going to be extremely extremely successful you have a strong foundation okay so in a work and business for you Leah's um, in the last week there's a strong foundation and these situation are going to be yield okay whatever your financial situation is of was it's going to be ill so this is a good message for you guys so some people is uh, the, for some people you're carrying a burden for some people situations are going to be yield okay and this is a, a positive positive um, reading for you guys again uh, the number eight and the number ten is going to be your energy vibration okay we're going further um to see what is the love energy for you um 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 leos what is the love energy um for you leos what is the love energies for you leos what is the energy love energies for you leos wonderful 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 in the first week whatever situation burdensome situation that you have with your relationship is going to come to an end so let's say you were having quarrels and this sort of a thing whatever the situation is it's going to be coming to an end okay whatever situation that was there and was you know you were having problems with your relationship it's going to come to an end okay um, there is going to be a new beginning and a rebirth to your relationship in the second week in the second week there is going to be a new a rebirth is as if you're you have been in a relationship and the relationship has been ups and down ups and down and all sort of a thing and then all of a sudden you see just that your partner is changing and you become um, alarm and realizing that your partner is really working towards uh, to have a better relationship so a new beginning in love um, a new beginning in healing your relationship is going to come in the second week but this is this is positive the second week is a week of love whatever the situation is some people are going to be connecting with the um, energy vibration of the Capricorns okay some people are going to be connecting with energy vibration of the Capricorn people or a, a, a Taurus or a Virgo but it's more of the Capricorn piece people whatever is happening okay as we look at the third week a wonderful wonderful situation is happening in the third week because what is happening in the third week is that an invitation is going to come an invitation is going to come to um, some people in the third week and this is an invitation from someone who has been in love for you with you for a long time so news about an event um, people are going to be inviting you out to weddings I see weddings dinner um, 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 events, you know, different sort of events. You're going to be invited out, and it's uh, you're going to be meeting new people in this, uh, and and it's it's people want to connect with you. People wants to meet you. People wants to co um connect with you and network. People wants to network with you. So positive positive energy is coming out for you guys in the love and the love that is coming to you is something from out the energy vibration of the universe it's going to be extremely extremely positive whatever the situation is it's going to be extremely positive another situation that is coming in is that um, wonderful positive uh, um, connections are going to be happening in the area of love if you have a relationship this relationship is going to be an extreme positive relationship a lot of you are going to be invited out uh, um, to parties a lot of parties a lot of social networking a lot of networking um, a successful network you're going to build successful networking in relationships and groups and friendships so this is good it's all about the love is in the second week but for the rest of the month it's all about a lot of invitations are coming to you Leo's whatever is happening a lot of invitation and these invitation or 
in with a connection with relationship whatever is happening there's a lot of um, um, party invitation wedding invitation um, events of dinner invitation um, you know whatever you can think about but there's a lot of invitation coming for you um, Leo's in the month of September so this is going to be wonderful a lot of invitation to fun parties a lot of successful networking in the business sense so this is um, good this is wonderful okay this is so positive this is really a positive situation whatever is happening there is changes coming in your life and this is positive so we are going to ask the vortex what is the message that would like to come in for the Leos what message would like to come in for the Leos what message would like to come in for the Leos and we have the energy the thought I think determine the relationship I attract so the thought I think is going to determine the relationship that I attract whatever you think not only does the power of your thought determine which people um, made their way into your life but it's going to determine how they have once they get there you are the thinker vibrational attraction of your experience and the thoughts you think determine everything about the life that you live as you turn your attractions or and attention towards the positive aspect of the personality and behavior of an of another person you can share the planets with others you will train your your point of attraction in the direction of only what you desire so this you know and this is why I use this for the monthly readings I'm going to try to use it only for the monthly reading because this message you can keep for the entire month the thoughts you think determine the relationships you attract okay so sometimes people said I'm always finding myself in this relationship it's because the thoughts you have that is what you send out into the universe and that is what you attract in your life so when we understand and learn to change the way we think and the thoughts that we send out in the universe then we will see positive things coming in our lives so remember again the thoughts you think determine the relationship you attract in your life okay we're moving forward and we are working with the energy vibration of we are working with the energy vibration of um, the um, Ascendance Masters, and let's ask what Ascendance Masters message would like to come out for you guys. Angel Retreat, Angel Retreat. So, whatever is happening in this month, one of the most effective ways to accumulate your ascension is to visit the Ascendance Masters Retreat during the sleep time. So, you can call upon whatever Ascendance Masters and said, I visit Archangel Metatron in my sleep tonight, I, I visit Archangel Zachiel in my sleep tonight. You can call up. On I visit um, White Brotherwood in my sleep tonight. Sorry, whatever and whoever you want to attract in your life is going to come in. Okay, we are moving on to the energy vibration of the zodiac. The zodiac people. Let's see what um, is the planetary aspect that is going to work with the Sun <coughs> Leo's in this month of September and what is going to be working with the uh, moon Leah's Wow again Pluto comes up okay all right okay what is going to work with um, the Sun signs is going to work again Wow okay that's strange but okay let's see where we are going with that okay for the sun people, what is happening for the sun Leos in this month? Luck. You sun Leos are going to be extremely lucky. The planet of Jupiter comes out in this month. So whatever is happening to you sun Leos, you are going to be very lucky. You Leos are very lucky. So 
the sun layers the sun sign layers that are, those are the people who are born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are going to be working with the planet of Jupiter which is a very lucky planet and with that the Gemini's and the Aquarians which are air people are going to come in your life to help you to bring magic in your life to help you to bring luck in your life so let's say that you have felt out of luck for a very long time for the Sun people the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Jupiter and the Gemini's and the Aquarians these hair people are coming in your life to bring you positive positive situation in your life so this is going to be extremely extremely positive okay so congratulations um, you Sun people the planet of Jupiter luck it's going to be luck for you guys so, for the moon people it's going to be the people who are born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. what is happening for you is that the planet of Pluto is coming in the planet of Pluto has the energy vibration of your um, psychic awareness so the people who are born in the night are always psychic people okay and not everyone knows how to um, work with their psychic energy and this is what uh, this month is all about for you Leos. they're teaching you to learn to work with the psychic energy and who to come in but is the Pisces because the Pisces are very good to Pisces people they work with the other side so you know most of the time they know what you're about and where you're going but they don't use it to manipulate you like the air sign people they use it to help you so this is good so um, in the month of September the lunar people the moon people um, the moon raising sign people are going to be working with the Pisces and the the Aries and this is wonderful it's a wonderful balance the Pisces and the Aries are coming in to help you to awaken your psychic energies okay and this is positive so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls thank you for being here I want to say to each and every person please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and also listen to the general readings and I want to say to each and every one namaste I'm wishing you a wonderful month